Welcome. You have reached review time with Imperial. Today review we'll be reviewing Rambo Last Blood. Let's get right into it. So uh the legend, the icon, Hall of Famer, whatever you want to call him, will go down as one of the, if not the greatest action actors of all time, Sylvester Stallone. And I have enjoyed Sylvester Stallone's movies over the years, action movies. Always had substance, always um, had a good plot. And Rambo First Blood was actually one of my... favorite action movies of all time and if you don't know about Rambo First Blood look it up great movie Rambo John Rambo was uh, military he was in the military and um, he didn't have much family he went off to the military and his whoop military buddies after the military, they all like kind of dispersed, and the military kind of um, turned their back on them, and a lot of them uh, couldn't function when they came back to real life and uh, society, and uh, so it's something that's called PTSD, and. Um, That was, I guess it was out there back in the day, but it wasn't as, you know, now and it's really like they really take it serious or whatever. And maybe they did, but like now and it's more, it's everybody um, uh, pays attention to it. And so he went into a small town and in that small town, a cop was giving him stuff because he looked like a drifter and the cop keeps a tight ship being a real a-hole and he messes with Rambo so he told Rambo pretty much get out of the town but instead of Rambo leaving he comes back into town pretty much on some well you know I ain't really do nothing and you ain't really gonna tell me what to do so he comes back into town the captain picks him back up puts him in the jail and when they put him in jail you know, they was like, uh, he smells bad. Get him a, give him a bath or whatever. So they want to take it upon themselves to wash him themselves. And when they held him up, it had made him have PTSD flashback of when he was in the military. And uh, they when they took his shirt off, they got to see all the scars he had because he's been a um, prisoner of war before. And so it made him have flashbacks and then he snapped, and when he snapped, he beat all the uh, policemen up, broke up out of there, grabbed somebody that had like a motorcycle, jumped on a motorcycle, and they chased him, but then they chased him in the woods, and see, they don't really know who they're dealing with at the time, because they think he's just a regular drifter, but he's been taught how to live off the land, how to eat stuff that would make a Billy Goat puke. And it was it became an all-out war. And so uh, Colonel Chapman, which was his uh that trained him, stepped in when he heard what was going on, and he came to get John and get him out. And he told him, Leva, don't box him in because he, he's in all-out war mode right now. So right now. Y'all need to calm down. So they didn't listen. And he, he went off some more. He was hurting um, men. They was like, how one man going to do this? And he was like, I hope you got enough body bags. That, they, that, that was uh, letting them know this. He's, so he took out the whole force and was great to take everybody out. And then finally, um, he came and talked to him and calmed them down and then barred them out. And they barred them back into the military. And that was the end of one. And then it went to two and three. And then um, three, he went back. His colonel got captured, so he had to go get him. 
And then it, that was the end of the series. And then about 08, somewhere around there, Rambo came out. And that was like, really like Rambo 4, where he was a, a drifter in another island and some uh, peace treaty type people. Their people got left somewhere. They needed somebody to transport them. And he knows the way. And so that's, and then he went off in that one. Now that at the end of the Rambo in 08, this is supposed to be the last Rambo. So I just gave you a brief synopsis going over all of them right quick. And really I went over first on um, the first blood. The last blood at the end of Rambo in 08, the, at the end he went back home. And you don't know what he's going to see when he's back home. And this one, it sees that he got uh, a niece. So I'm pretty sure he must have had a sister because the niece dad wasn't around. So he must have had a sister that uh, messed with a man that was from uh, Mexico or whatever. And um, so she's she just finished school and on her way to college but she always felt empty and wanting to find out what happened with her dad so she couldn't just take what they told her about her dad she had to find out herself so you get a lot of kids that grows up without the other parent and they always long to have that relationship with that other parent and want to know and they can't function in life because they need to know and if uh, that parent doesn't um, set the record straight that child will always be empty so she was the daughter the niece, his niece was always empty and the grandma was there and so the grandma pretty much told her like you need to let that man go that man ain't right you know he never meant you and your mom any good. So, uh, from there, she, it was a, a, a girl that used to stay with them back in the day, and she went over to Mexico, and she's like all in the mix of the world, and so she's been keeping touch with her, and she found out, I know where your dad is, and then you just come over to Mexico, wish I show you where he is so she brings it up to her you know Rambo John and he tells her like you know shut it down the grandma shut it down and so on. her being a rebellious kid and I gotta know she takes it upon herself to go over in Mexico by herself and meet with this girl that don't mean her no well so the girl tells her uh, pretty much where her dad was but the dad when she approached the dad the, the dad ain't he didn't want to have anything to do with her he pretty much kept it straight with her like i i felt you and your mom wasn't didn't mean anything to me and that's why i left and you could you know f off and never show up here again so he gave it to her raw and straight and uh sometimes kids gotta find out the hard way instead of taking heed to certain situations you know so in the course of that the girl that wasn't crap already got to set up because she's young she's fresh she's gonna go to college she just finished high school so this is another movie that's has is that comes out about human trafficking and a lot of times it's young women that get caught up in something and they get snatched. So the girls is setting her up. So you can already tell she ain't about nothing because she was already looking at the girl's gold bracelet. And so she took her to the club and they slipped the Mickey in her drink. And that was the wrap of that. She never, uh, of course she never showed um, showed up back home so the grandma was alarmed and she told uh john pretty much hey she never came home and she went over there and this is the address of the uncle i mean the address of her dad or whatever and this is the address of the girl she went to go see and so uh she just hugged john said bring her back to me 
or whatever. So John goes over there. He sees the he goes sees the dad first, and he approached him and he said, "I should have you the reason you the reason of this." So the dad basically said, "I told her what was up, and you know I ain't seen her." And he said, "You know you the reason is I should have broke your neck ten years ago." And so pretty much from there he went to the girl that set her up. The girl tried to play like, you know, ah, uh, you know. She was upset what her dad said, whatever. And then after she was upset, we went to a party, and then I lost, we lost contact with each other. And so he pulled a knife out, basically told her, "You play games with me, I, you know, I kill you right here." And so he said, "That's her bracelet." And so she was like, "Well, she gave it to me." He was like, "That's her mom's bracelet. She had never gave you that." And so. Uh, from that point, he she knew he meant business. So he like, you better point out, take me to where you y'all was at, and you point out the guy she was with. And so she went there, she pointed out. But meanwhile, it was a woman there that was peeping him, peep out the other guy. So that woman was pretty much uh, she's peeping the whole scene. So he grabs the guy up, he he stalks the guy. When the guy went to go take another girl outside. He goes and Rambo grabs him up, stabs him pretty good, digged in his 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 where his collarbone was, told him I'll break your collarbone physically, and then you know, tell me where she's at. So he took him to a location, but and then Rambo knocked him out. But then when Rambo stalking and looking, people see him. So they notify, and before you know it, he know it, he's surrounded by at least about 30, 50 men, something like that. And you know, they uh, take his gun, take his knife, and then they see the picture of his niece, and they pretty much tell her like, yo, I just got this whore, and you know, she's, you know, we just got her. And so um, one, it's two brothers, and the, the one brother is, uh, Gustavo that plays on the show Snowflake and uh, he he doesn't want to kill Rambo after they beat him up pretty good and then the other Rambo he's like give him your, your mark and he said give the sister the mark I mean his, his niece a mark too so what they did was he gave uh, uh, he put a V on Rambo's face with the knife and then after they, they left Rambo there to die after they beat him up. But remember I told you that girl, that girl that was watching him, she was there. She took in, took him somewhere, took him back home and had like a local doctor come and, you know, stitch him up. Meanwhile, they went and grabbed the niece and they asked the niece like, who is this? And so they cut her face the same way they cut his and um, they drugged her up. And then, you know, they started all the um, shenanigans with human trafficking that you hear about in other movies. So meanwhile, uh, John, once he heals in about five days, four or five days, he's now, he's, you know, wondering where he at. The woman tells her, her, her daughter was, went into the same thing about two years ago and, and they found her dead. So now, he like, you gotta help me and tell me where they be having the girls at so that, I, you know, it still might be a chance. So he goes there, he bash people in the head and he, uh, he, he finds his niece, but she's real bad. You know, she's real drugged up pretty bad. And you know what I'm saying? Needing medical attention, you know, after they cut her face up and the way they was poking her, they were just poking her up with the, keeping her drugged up and so she's poked up pretty bad so he's getting he's driving back and you know her eyes is fading you know what i'm saying he's telling him, you gotta stay up you gotta stay up you gotta stay up and so uh uh he's telling her i'm um, trying to talk talk to her and she barely can um stay awake and um she knows she's like you came back for me and then she um she apologized and uh pretty much she shed a tear and right when she shed a tear she died in the car with him so i know that was like kind of heartfelt like damn 
So, you know, once he went back, he drove all the way back to where the um the grandma was back at the house and the grandma um he tried to stop the grandma at first and tell her and then she ran up to the car and she seen that the the, the uh, her granddaughter was passed away and so he sent the grandma off at that point because he knew it was all out war at that point so uh that, that's pretty much the synopsis of the movie so after that all that you already know it's chaos he got his revenge. Um, it's no post credit scene. He went he went to work on him too. He went to work on him or whatever. And he, he built tunnels at his ranch back in the United States. So he went over to Mexico first. He got revenge on one of the brothers and he knew that would make the other brother come after him because he had his ID. So he had tunnels on his ranch and he set up booby traps bombs and everywhere so once they came there he went to work on them and the other brother was a cop over in mexico so uh that uh was a decent film watchable he he got shot twice one in the um torso one in the um shoulder that went through and he just at the end of the movie he just went on the porch and sat in a rocking chair so you don't really know if it says the last rambo it's supposed to be the end and then it shows like footage of all the rambos that led up to this one so you think that's the end and uh, you know in hollywood that all depends on uh how well the movie do in the box office you know what i'm saying that really determines everything but you know sylvester stallone is in his 70s i think or something like that so uh you know he's older man you know he, he don't want to keep it going so he's trying to tie up his movies, you know what I'm saying? Like, I, he I hear, uh, like, not just Creed, there's supposed to actually be another Rocky movie. So I don't know about that, but, you know, you you know, Creed allows the Rocky series to, to move on. So, you know, we'll see. You know, other than that, it was a decent film. Uh, out of my four-star rating system, I'm going to go with two out of four stars. Two out of four stars. Um, just cause it's sly and it's, you know, um, I like the Rambo series, two out of four stars, decent film, like the video, like the video, subscribe, become a subscriber, stay tuned to the next one.